What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. You can head to the newsletter in my description below. Get a free novel and a free graphic novel. If you love science fiction and fantasy, definitely support the work. That's what we're doing here. I have a new graphic novel also on Indiegogo right now. It's called Deus Volt. And as you can see from the art, it is a classic, classic fantasy tale. It has beautiful, beautiful beautiful visuals and it's got a great story about heroism knights wizards demons all the fun things that you used to get from uh cool fantasy topics but uh you can't do anymore because you'll get canceled and of course some people have tried to cancel me uh through the course of this i, I have a uh i have a, i have a sexy cover and you know that triggers some people a uh, lot sexier than what we're about to get into <laughs> so this is about to be fun today all right hit that and go grab the book and support the channel all right topic of today to transition from sexy covers is going to be gameland games new tiny epic dungeons you can see right here you've got uh, a wizard gal a rogue gal a barbarian dude skeleton a uh, dwarf dude and you can see that the wizard gal is cute looking and attractive and the rogue gal is cute looking and attractive the barbarian dude is uh, he doesn't have a shirt on so that's pretty pretty sexualized there but they're ignoring that because what they do in these situations is they hyper focus on the female elements here now these are not even particularly lewd images they're just normal images of girls looking attractive and that triggers people like uh, like this fellow right here Yesterday, I highlighted a board game cover with amazing artwork. Today, can we talk about this? Not even about the typography, which, by the way, they, this is their whole branding. It's on everything. Or how busy it is. But specifically about how women are portrayed. One is in the boobs and butt pose, and the other has cleavage armor. Come on now. All right. This dude is obviously triggered by this cover, which I think actually, uh, I agree that it's a little busy, but it's all right other than that. Um, and uh, this launched a cancel mob of Tiny Epic Dungeons by Gamelin Games, uh, which is led by uh, wingspan designer Elizabeth Hargrove, who is absolutely triggered about this. Now, she goes off and makes this huge rant about, oh my gosh, these women in board games, blah, 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 and urges people to cancel uh, Gamelin Games and harass them over their cover, which is we, what we described already. So this goes on for a long time, and guess what? Because the Wingspan designer is part of this protected SJW mob that uh, messes with board games and board game designers all the time, Board Game Geek uh, blocks and bans anybody with any sort of contrary opinion who actually likes the cover of the board game. So like usual, they're shutting down discussion. They're shutting down anybody who just wants to have fun in the hobby. They're shutting down anybody who just wants to play this board game. Why? Because this woman here uh, wants to be triggered and she wants to upset people in the industry. Now, she just went way off on all this stuff. So uh, whenever anybody criticized her at all, she would copy it and uh, and then show that people were getting banned from Board Game Geek just for their opinions. This is a pretty innocuous opinion uh, right here. Uh, but uh, so many factually inaccurate statements in here. I think it speaks for itself, and I'm too tired to break it down for you. So she riles up a mob to harass this game company, and then when anybody actually criticizes her about it, uh, she uh, tries to shut it down, and her cohorts try to shut it down too. Uh, and it just keeps going. All she does is keep going and keep going uh, uh, and, her, and riling up mobs against people. I don't know who uh, Jamie uh, Stegmeier is, but, uh, but apparently she's very upset with him, and that is uh, what she's trying to rile up again. Now, she got really uh, weird about me, and uh, gosh, I, I wonder why she doesn't like uh, uh, attractive women in, in board games. That's another topic, I guess. But uh, she started calling me a bunch of names on Twitter. Uh, I'd never interacted with her in my life. I only play her board games with my family. Uh, it, I'm a, a huge customer of Stonemeyer Games, and uh, I really deserve an apology uh, for the way she treated me uh, because it's really nasty going on and trying to rile up a cancel mob against me when I've never never interacted with her in my entire life. Uh, but that's the type of people these people are. They just want to harass people out of the hobby. They call it inclusive and diverse, but really what they want is uh, mentally ill, angry people 
to just be an outrage mob all the time and to ruin people's hobbies for normal people, for families, for uh, for adults who just want to hang out and do something uh, other than uh, get drunk at night and play play games rather than uh, you know go out to you know, debaucherous clubs and all that. Oh well, they just want to ruin every single hobby, and uh, and this is her entire mo at the moment. So it's very sad, uh, but you should not feel bad for Tiny Epic Dungeons, and you should not uh, support them because they gave in to the cancel mob, and they're actually part of this culture uh, quite a bit. So if you look at their post on their Kickstarter, uh, they are going off on how uh, you know we need to be civil and respectful of others' opinions, and of course they are uh, going and getting rid of their game box design uh, because this woman went off on them and they're too scared they're too scared uh to stand up to her they're too scared to stand by their own product which was which was fine until somebody decided to cancel it but uh that's that's who they are they are part of this they agree with this and they uh are not uh they're not friendly at all all right this is the cancel mob today in board game culture <laughs> it's really sad but this is why we need to support alternatives i'll eventually make a deus volt board game and i'll make sure to to put art just like this on the cover just to trigger these people uh and i hope you'll back that when the time comes and i hope you'll back the comic now what do you think about this situation hit that like and subscribe button we'll be back soon <laughs>